uh, Sweden accounts for the highest proportion of single person households within the European Union. For more on this demographic reality there, I have Professor Martin Kolk at Stockholm University Demography Unit. Professor Kolk, welcome. You. Professor, do start by telling us a bit about the features of single households in Sweden and the reasons behind this trend there. Uh, so, uh, traditionally, Swedish society has had a high share of single households because uh, there's both a history in which uh, children leave the parental home and live independently before forming a family. Uh, and also old people have been living alone uh, and not with their adult children to a higher extent in Sweden than uh, many other societies. Uh, so I think this explains why Sweden still has high shares of single households. Right. And that reality of a single, a high percentage of single uh, person households, has it not had severe or perhaps uh, worrying social repercussions in Sweden? Uh, I would not say so. So I think it's, uh, it's a part of the traditional family system uh, and as such uh, is working well. Uh, so if anything, the trend has been the last 20 years that more uh, care for old people uh, are arranged in people's homes instead of in uh, institutionalized elder cares. Professor Kolk, how are authorities in Sweden seeking to better accommodate this demographic portrait of single households and its implications in society? Uh, yes, as for uh, strategies, so uh, uh, the, the most important uh, uh, like social change that has taken place is this uh, increased focus on providing uh, old age care in people's homes uh, and not uh, like in institutionalized care. And this is partly a way of saving money, but it's also based on uh, stated uh, demand or preferences uh, of older people in Sweden. Uh, and to meet uh, issues such as lo loneliness and similar among uh, the, the older population. Uh, there's uh, more of a focus on promoting like uh, social activities outside the home of older people. What kind of social activities are we speaking about? Uh, yeah, like uh, uh, the, the different hobbies uh, or places to, to have hobbies together uh, organized by the municipalities. I see. Professor Kolk, and what has been the public response to such government efforts? Uh, yeah, I think broadly speaking, there is qu quite wide support uh, for the current way of uh, arranging uh, support for old, uh, uh, yeah, old people in Sweden. Professor Kolk, another challenge for authorities here in uh, Korea revolves around the falling birth rate. What can you share with us about efforts in Sweden with regard to this issue? Uh, yes, so across uh, uh, high-income countries, uh, the extent to which the government like socialized the cost of, of having children, or put differently, how many, how, how large extent of the cost of having a child that's born by, by the government uh, as compared to the parents differs qu quite a lot across high-income countries. Uh, and in Sweden, there is a tradition that uh, the government provides quite generous support uh, for having children. This goes back to the 1940s. Uh, and perhaps the most important part of this is a generously subsidized uh, daycare for children. Uh, and this is often not uh, framed in the way of, uh, uh, as a policy, so, so Swedish people can have more children, but uh, by lessen the economic burden of children, uh, it likely has that effect. Right, and so such support by the government has kept the birth rate in Sweden quite high, would you say, Professor Kolk? Uh, relative to many other high-income countries, uh, usually you find uh, higher levels uh, of childbearing in the Nordic countries. Oh. Yes. I see. Are there any other support frameworks that authorities could prepare for in the case of a greater number of single households in the future, which is the growing case, a growing challenge that is here in South Korea? Uh, yeah, so I think you must provide the right kind of infrastructure. So there must be housing that's suitable for single households. Uh, and also with the, the growing share of uh, single households uh, among the older population, uh, to the extent that they need, they need care, I think uh, you must organize care needs uh, so they can be met in individuals' homes. I see. All right, Professor Kolk, thank you very much for your thoughts and your time.